This is the painting we're going to do today. It's called Orange Ocean Sunset. And it's a beautiful painting with lots of techniques that you can learn along the way. So let's get started. So all you need for this painting today are your primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. And I have a black and white. Now, we may need green. I don't, don't think so, but uh, for now we'll just use these colors. And for your brushes, you can have a synthetic chiseled edge brush, probably a size 10. And you can also have a smaller one. Okay, these small brushes, they can be bristle or synthetic, very small. And I'm going to have a fan brush on hand. It's a possibility we may not use some of these brushes, but I like to have them there and a bristle brush and a liner brush. So have those on hand. If you, if you don't have those, have as close as you can to those. I'm going to take my fan brush and it's got red on it. We don't want that. Clean it off really good. Sometimes you need to punch the bottom of that container to get all that paint off. And I'm going to pick up some white and some blue. Some white, some blue. And I am going to find out where my water is so I can. So I'm just going to tap on the edge here where I made that line between the blue and the green. I'm just going to tap that on there for now. Let's see. Start. That's a start. So now we know where the water is coming in, and then there's put another little wave back here, following that one. And it's coming. I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm going to take the corner and I'm going to start tapping on some more white between these two. Oh, I'm going to leave the dark. Sorry about that. I'm going to leave the dark there. some bubbly water here. Put a little bit over here. Paint is still wet so it's going to be pretty dark. Okay. So, I almost need a nice black color to get underneath here. better. Maybe some dark. So I'm going to clean up the back of this here. I'm just going to go right over it like this. Pull it forward. It's like the water is coming in. See? Probably a little bit here. You can either pull back or pull forward. So if you want to try pulling back, you can pull back like that. Right, there we go. That's better. You can do the same thing with this on top here. Pull it back into the water. I'm going on a diagonal to give it that so it doesn't look like it's going straight up. It is moving this way.
There we go. Then you can take your dark blue again. Just go back here so we keep some of our dark. That looks good. I'm going to take some yellow. And some white. And I'm going to put some yellow and white here. Nice and colorful, isn't it? Different. Just for fun. And take some blue and white. Come over here. Okay, we'll get some more blue and some more white. Mix up some blue and white and we'll just put some of that here. Too green over here. I want to get a little more blue. Still nice. Pretty, isn't it? That's pretty. Some yellow and white again. Lay it over here. Some more yellow. Just want to lighten it up in different areas. See how it all blends really nicely when it's all wet like that? It's pretty. So I'm going back and forth as you can see. I like doing that. You know, you go back and forth with your painting and tap on stuff that uh, you need in different places. I mean, we could work on only the sky for an hour, but it's kind of, you know, monotonous. So I like to move around and see what I want to do here and there. So this is a uh, white. I'm just going to tap on some more of these highlights here waves tap on the corner of your brush and as that paint comes off we'll move back a little bit so we will if your paint is dry on you add more blue you know Try to keep it wet if you have to use blending gel in that, but if you can't and you're tapping on white and it's just pure white and it's covering everything up, add some blue to it. Some paintings are not as easy to make them real easy. So unless you've got a bit of experience in some of these paintings, then you'll find it a little easier to follow, but uh, you know, because then you'll be able to do it your own way and you might say, well, I don't like it that way. So you can do it your own way, right? But if you are a beginner, you're trying to do exactly what I'm telling you, then you could really get frustrated. I'm just going to move that back a little bit into the water by tapping. You may have to do this a few times to get where you get the look, right? I haven't got that look yet. I'm still trying to get that nice that nice look of water sort of bubbling up there. Maybe my paint is too wet or something.
Maybe, maybe. I might want to let it dry a little bit and then I'll I'll do some more. But just in the corner of my brush there. That's pretty, isn't it? There we go. Good. Now I'm gonna put some white and blue on my brush. On my fan brush. And I am going to wipe off some of that in my tissue, my paper towel, till I get a lot of it taken off. And then I'm just going to drag my brush over the top there to get some nice sparkles and shimmer. bit more, wipe it off, wipe off a lot of it, okay, won't come off, just push a little bit harder, Decisions, decisions. May not want to come off if your paint underneath is wet. Hmm. It's been stubborn. Keep working at it, that's what it's all about. Keep working at it. Now if you fold this up, just go back in with your dark blue again, okay? And then try something else that you're more comfortable with. This may work better if your paint is dry underneath, your blue paint. sparkles there. Nice and glittery. Take the corner of my brush. Get some more waves coming in here. Just putting white on my brush. My fan brush. You probably see some time lapse videos, and uh, because some of the paintings are so hard to teach and so time consuming, that some of the artists just do time lapse videos to make them more enjoyable to watch. But it's very hard to follow along. But I really, I, I like the time lapses. I must say, you can sit back and just watch. You know, watch a, a, a painting come to life. I have a couple of time lapses myself, but the time lapses are just basically a preview so you can see what kind of painting we're going to be doing and then you can get the full painting. You can get the, the real time step by step. Yep. Just tapping it back a little bit. Moving in. Now, I'm going to clean my brush off really good. And I'm going to 
see if I can get this to blend nicer. Like we did before. I'm thinking this might have to come down a little bit. What do you think? It looks like it needs looks like it, it's kind of shaped odd, so it looks like it needs to come down a little bit more here. What do you think? Help guys, help. <laughs> So I like doing, I like, you know, experimenting and seeing how things turn out and things, so I'm not really worried too much. Do you know what I worry about the most? Is that I know what I want to do. And my brush just won't uh, cooperate. So I just brought that down a little bit more just to see if I could get it to make more sense. So now, pull that back. And put on more white. There we go. So we'll just add a little bit of a dark color up here, just not as black as the one under the wave, but a little bit darker here because to me it didn't look flat. It looked like it was bounced up in the back there, but that looks better. That's better. And we are going to some more waves coming down over here. It looks like it's moving around here. Yeah. Take some of that in here. I wish I could show you an easier way, but I can't seem to. Uh, I'm darkening this up over here. Um, I can't seem to think of an easier way to do this. If I make it s real simple, it'll look more like um, I'm trying to get into the more I don't know more elaborate paintings. I got black on my brush now, or black and blue, so that's why I got it so dark here like this. It's kind of nice, isn't it? But you can follow along or you can say, you know what? <sighs> I think I'll wait. But you know, I look at videos where I would never be able to do them. And uh, I pick up little pointers and use them in my videos using my techniques and stuff. You know, I might pick up a, a pointer on how to paint something. Could be water, could be trees, could be anything. And uh, it helps me come up with some new ideas. I don't copy exactly. I try to come up with my own ideas. And But uh, it helps a lot to look at other people's, look at lots of videos, whether they're really advanced or whether they're you know, simple, little tiny simple things, everything helps. So I'm just playing with color, I'm just darkening up some of the areas because we don't want it all a flat green or a flat blue or this is the beauty of painting. You can add all kinds of different colors and that's what makes it really pretty. You can bring some of this into the black. 
because everything's wet it'll all mix together look look makes it all come together see that so never be afraid to um, play with your colors mix them together don't be afraid to experiment that's the big thing experiment with your colors just sit down and put on colors start with a base color and then you can add darks or lights to them mix them all into each other at times and try not to get mud but this is not getting muddy it's just sort of look how it's blending really nice you get the sparkles in the water it's pretty isn't it yeah I like that pretty so what I'm going to do is add a few more Two more red, uh, lights over here. So I think I'll tap on a little bit of light on that corner there. It's a small bit to start. Not too much. Just a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, especially here, this is where the light is really given bright lights right there. Let's just throw that brightness right here. And that's a dark shadow between the bright and we are going to, this should be dry, so now we can probably add our, our light right here. So let's take, let's see, let's see, let's take, we'll switch brushes for now and use a, any brush, a small brush, just a scruffy one or a synthetic. Add more light here. Now that's nice and bright there. Now where is that? Down here. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to scrub on some nice of those oranges let's see, let's there. Let's see. Let's take some orange and white. The orange that you made earlier. And uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a really nice bright orangey color. Hmm. It's not too bad, I guess. Too much on your brush, wipe it off. Now let's see, let's see. I'm gonna take my brush this way, not this way for now. I'm gonna try it this way. So rock back and forth. And jump, you know, don't uh, lose any of your blue underneath there. Let's just get this straightened up first. And now you can pull it over. Look how nice and bright that is. Straighten it up over here. We'll go back over that again and get some more. Go back and forth if you don't want to lose your, uh, your uh, wave there. Now if we can't get that the way we want it, we will go back and do it again. So let's go down here first. And I get some white. Make it nice and bright. See what happens. I think that's too much white. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. Alright, let's see, let's see. Put 
pull it over this way this time first. Experiment with both ways. Some more white and yellow. A little bit of red. Or use that orangey color that you're using. And we'll try that again. We wanted to go a little skinnier down the bottom anyway. My brush just did that for me. Drag it right over. Pull some right over on the beach. So you get some highlights. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> I haven't got you all frustrated now, do I? I'm really enjoying this, even though I'm like more experimenting than anything. I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it's not coming out exactly the way I'd like it, but you know, I want to see. I want to. Do my best and pick up more yellow and white. Let's see, let's see. Back and forth motion. See, my brush don't want to cooperate. And you're going to say, you probably say to yourself if you're trying it, like, how come I can't do it? I must be doing something wrong. No, you're not doing anything wrong. These are the things that happen when you're um, when you're experimenting and you're working really hard to get the way you want it, and then it won't come out the way you want it, and all that good stuff. So, not to worry. And if it gets too frustrating, just walk away from it. Go get a cup of tea or watch some TV, or just stay away from it for a while. And if you come back and you're still getting frustrated do another painting and just leave that one to sit there until you're ready. And if you don't want to go back to it at all, then don't. Just do another seascape instead. I mean, I wouldn't give up doing seascapes, but uh, if I couldn't get the, this one that I wanted, then I would try another one, maybe something a bit easier. I have a, a seascape that you can do in 15 minutes. And I could put the link below to that one, it's really easy. I made that really, really easy. This one here has been stubborn. Could be because my paint is still wet too. All right, so we're gonna go back to that because I don't like those colors. I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna pull that across just get that much done but you see uh, they're too green I want my colors more on a orangey yellowy all right so I'll just get rid of that and what I'm going to do is put that light in there I'm just going to take a small a small brush any small brown round brush or any brush that you're comfortable with and I'm just going to put my white down here 